Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we're going to take a look at a problem that we call linear programming. We're trying to find a maximum value or a minimum value of a certain function over an enclosed region that we call the feasible region. So what we're going to do first is we're going to graph that system of inequalities that's listed and then we're going to find the vertices of that region, right? The where two of the lines cross, the maximum or minimum has to be found at that location. So um, let's get started. We're going to graph the first line, and I'm going to do these in separate colors. I'm going to use blue for y is less than or equal to 2x. And notice all of these are solid. This first line. The slope is 2, the y-intercept is at y equals 0. So starting at 0, up 2 over 1. Just like that. And as we go to the left, down 2, 1 to the left is the same as up 2, 1 to the right. There's our first line. And we're looking for it to be below that. So we are on this side of the line. Y is isolated, where is Y less than that? It's below that. Let's try the next one in red. This time the um, slope is negative two, so down two, one to the right. And the Y intercept is gonna be at Y equals four. So Start at 4, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. Like that. This time we wanted y to be below that, so we were looking at this region and this region. Below the red line is where I've labeled as region two. So we're now looking down here. We'll graph the third line and we'll figure out what part of it's shaded inside of that triangular region at the bottom. So let's use our third color this one uh, has a slope of 1, a y-intercept at negative 5, and this time we're going to shade above. So negative 5, slope is 1. So up 1, over 1. Down 1, 1 to the left. Actually, let me get that blue line to come down and through there, too. Right. So uh, we wanted above that, the region that we're working with is enclosed here. And the maximum over this entire region is going to occur at one of the three endpoints, uh, we're at three intersection points. So we know what those are from the graph, but I'm going to find them algebraically as well. But um, I was careful with my graph. I know that it crosses here at three, negative two. It crosses up here at one, positive two. And then down here, this looks like negative 5, negative 10. But we can figure out uh, what those are. So for um, let's look at the place where the blue and the red line cross, which is supposed to be 1, comma 2. We take 
we're working with y is less than or equal to 2x, and y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 4. This is going to happen when um, the two y values are the same, which is where the two expressions of x are equal to each other, like that. Uh, add over the negative 2x to the right-hand side, 4x equals 4. That leads us to x equals 1. And if we plug in 1 to either or both of those in inequalities, or the line, the equation part, y equals 2 times 1 or 2, or we could have plugged it into the other one. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. So 1, 2 is one of those points where they cross. Now let's take a look at where the red line crosses the purple line. The second and third equations cross. And that's where negative 2x plus 4 is equal to x minus 5. If we add 2x to the right and we add 5 to the left, we get 9 equals 3x, or x equals 3. And when we plug it in, y would be 3 minus 5, or negative 2. Uh, or negative 6 plus 4 is also negative 2. And finally, the one that we haven't done yet is where the blue and purple lines cross. This is where 2x is equal to x minus 5. Subtract over the x, and we get x equals negative 5 y would be 2 times negative 5 or negative 10. So the coordinates are all uh, correct reading them from the graph, but that's how you would find them algebraically. The maximum value has to occur at one of those three. So all we have to do is substitute those three ordered pairs on the right-hand side and see which one gives us the biggest value of z. So I'm going to copy, rewrite the equation z equals 7x whoops, sorry, plus 4y. And we're going to start with that first point that we had, 1, 2. So here z would be 7 times 1 plus 4 times 2. That's 7 plus 8, or 15. The second point was at 3, negative 2. Z would be 7 times 3 plus 4 times negative 2. That's 21 minus 8. That is 13. So, so far, 15 is the biggest. Finally, for negative 5, negative 10, we can tell this one's not going to be the biggest because it's going to be negative. Z would be 7 times negative 5 plus 4 times negative 10. Negative 35 minus 40 is negative 75. The biggest value is 15. So the max of z equals 15 occurs when x equals 1 and y equals 2. Any other value in that green shaded region will produce a value of z that's smaller than 15. All right, that's it for this one. We'll come back and do one more video where we do the same idea, but with a uh, application or a word problem.